R&D, R&D. So went out today for the ride. Unfortunately, my uh, exhaust, the header pipe that goes into the front pot, um, there is a collar on the Vance and Hines pipes and the actual piping that goes into the collar or into the, uh, what do you call it? I don't even know what the fuck it's called, but I will call it a collar. And it's not the collar with the two bolts, it bolts to the head. It's the flange piece, so to speak, that goes onto the exhaust. It actually slipped out and I had a lot of bloody exhaust emission coming out straight off the head today. Can't help it. I have beat this thing to a fucking pulp for the last thousand Ks to do so much trial and error, different tuning, different things when it comes to the track. Um, modifying the exhaust, just trying to get this thing to do, you know, a, a 10 9 in some way down the track. It is trial and error. And is it hard for me to do this? Absolutely fucking not. The rear um, cylinder head uh, had a leaky exhaust valve, um, uh, valve stem seal. So it has been dropping partial parts of oil down the valve stem, uh, obviously in the combustion as well. And. It's obviously contaminating what the uh, explosiveness is in this bike. So trying to run, obviously, you know, an Octane 98. Then we've got oil going in, which can create detonation. Um, we've just had a bit of a mishap with the seal. So that's fine. I'll get in and work with this again. One big thing with this combination, because it's got so much cylinder pressure, um, I've had to vent the, the dipstick for crank ventilation. But not only that, with the cylinder heads itself, in the rocker gear and all that, I will work my own um, uh, relief system there to go exterior to a catch can. Uh, there is a lot of shit happening in this bike. Like, for what it is and where we're at, it still needs subtle changes. I was happy to get this together, dyno it to what I could for what these 6.2 GS injectors were. I maxed out in the tables in a couple of areas. That's fine. But yet, I now have to move into the new sequence of what this is going to be. So, uh, look, at the end of the day, I'll correct what it is. Um, try and get this motor breathing a little bit better. I did do a leak down test yesterday. Um, I started at 25 PSI going into the cylinder to make sure valve seating is correct and ring seal is correct. Yes, it achieved that to be right. And then moved into more pressure going into the cylinder front and rear, obviously on top dead center and I went to 35 to 40 PSI pushing into the cylinder. Ring seal was tight and also valve seat. So we know that's correct. The biggest thing is trying to work matters out with valve stem seals. I've got such a big lift in this for a four inch bore um, and a four and three eight um, crank. You know, I'm running 250 PSI cylinder pressure. I could, probably could back it off. You know, I'm running on this thing, a 30 thou head gasket set multi-layered steel i could go to a 36 reduce you know marginal amounts of psi in the in the cylinders for what it is cold um we could back off a fraction still using a 60 degree uh valve intake close from after bottom dead center uh i could even go probably to a 40 thou head gasket and then reduce the uh the cam set that goes into it with the earlier closing time uh on intake however this is what i had this is what i've done it is really, really good for what it is, but there's these small things that are telltaling, hey, we need some updates in a couple of areas, and I'll do so. Um, yeah, so it's just weaning the way through. Once I hit a 10.9, I'll be happy. I'll end up pulling this motor out. I've got another set of cases here, go into something at another stage. But, um, you know, from what the gaskets look like and everything, everything was sealing up as it did. It showed that on the leak down. But yeah, just issues with seals, marginal amounts of um, oil getting past, dropping in combustion, causing issues, leaking out the fucking exhaust, and you know I had a bit of snot on the back here, and I even had a bit of snot sitting down in here, and it's just yeah, I've got to fix it up. So this is the stuff that goes on with custom builds. It's not just factory or a add-on part. It is moving into blueprinting, understanding the behaviour, the measurements and what the character build is on this thing and then correcting as you go so anyway it's my fucking spiel for the day uh thanks to everyone that came today it was grouse i just had some stupid issues that need to be corrected so that exhaust needs to fuck off and i'll do something else and update seal it tight get these valve stem seals corrected um double check that 
Uh, we might have to clean the valves again, just double check on a lap back into the seats with the valves and then put it together and I will go from a 6.2 gram uh, injector probably to 7.1 and fill you know where I need to in the tune, grab more power, more torque, go again, take the track, fucking 10 nines man, that's all I'm chasing. So, And it revs its dick off with this gear set but it is what it is. Anyway, that's today.